Welcome one and all to this third episode of season three for D&D, which stands for Daddy and Daughter. I am Daddy, Mike. And I am Daughter, Zoe. Yay! And today we're going to be working... Well, let's first take a look at what we had last time. <clears throat> she was a man. We got a little... Link. We got a little adventure and a map being generated. Okay, that's all good and dandy. But you can still fall. No, you can't fall. Right? There's no gravity. Oh, that's what I meant. We will never fall. It's not, it's not a thing in the game. We're going to walk so, in air. So, what we're going to start with is we're going to start importing the things that you have made. Right? So, let's begin by going to Magic of Oxen. We're going to open. And then we're going to go to you, Dropbox, Zoe, Adventure, Wall. There's the wall. I made a little border around it to make it look a bit like brick. Yeah, but you didn't make it look like bricks on the side. Hmm. Should I? Well, maybe we can. I don't know. So it's a 40 by 40, right? Yeah, um, I kept everything 40 by 40. So one thing we can do is we can mirror X and Z. And hold shift. Yeah. Okay, release. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That should not work. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hold shift. It's probably too much. Hold shift again. Yeah, I'm fairly sure this is wrong. But okay. Um, let's remove. Ah, so Z is up for this guy too. That's annoying. I I wanted to mirror on Y, but whatever. Uh, okay, so how do you pick this color? Can you? Can you color pick? Maybe hold Control. What does that mean? Yeah, I'd like to copy one of these. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how you do it. Yeah, also all of the inside is still blue. I used... Which is an issue. How do you color the inside? I don't know. Okay, well at this point, let's just construct the new one here. Alright. Okay. So, let's go new. No. Alright, so first of all, let's take a very uh, sort of dark color. Dark brown, something like that. Go to paint. Is that dark brown? Face. And you paint all of the faces like that. Mm -hmm. All right. That's uh, what I did in the first place with a lighter brown. Okay, so let's see if I shift, uh, rather if I attach and shift. Yeah. So it all because it still is blue. So let's select all. Paint. Uh, I think it should be no. Wait. Uh, v. No. P. P should be painted. No, it's pattern. Center, circle, line, box. So I still am not sure. Let's see, attach face. Okay, so it's going to... I know there's a way, I just don't know how. Um, so if you select all, paint, attach face, uh, how do you unselect all? Control shift A, A, <laughs> I don't know the tool, <laughs> whoops, okay, erase, uh, I genuinely have no idea how you unselect, okay, like that, no, but that only selects one, okay. Now I've unselected everything. Good. Now attach face. No, nope. still didn't paint it. Okay. Ooh, that's a good idea, actually. You raise the face. So one thing we could do is we could go underneath and uh, erase. Oops. Aha, uh -huh. so it did color stuff. Well, whatever. So now we're just going to face the top. Attach everything. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna detach every 
side. Oh, I've got an X mirror. I did. I forgot. So let's put a mirror on everything. Boom. So I've made the entire thing. Actually, I did not apparently. So the mirror doesn't really work. Brilliant. So I'm going to carefully remove one voxel from every side. Okay. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go box. I'm gonna gra grab some kind of uh, a brick color, but I don't want it to be too garish. Yeah, something like this. It's pretty good. Okay. Now let's add a few. Now I think it's possible to go copy paste paste. Uh, how do you move? Control. That's it. Paste. Okay. It's not too bad. And so let's move it all the way there. Select this. Hold Control. Move it there. Select this. Hold Control. Move it there. Paste again. So, oops. Hold Control. Move it there. So this may be a little too close. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold control move them left and hold control move it left so that leaves us with two holes let's see if we can move it even further leave it with three holes uh, but then maybe we can uh, just leave it like that I think that would be okay so now if we select all of these see we can paste Hold control, drag him down. Hold control, drag him left. This is more or less the way a brick wall would be, right? But we have just noticed that we can actually move all the way to the to the side, which is quite nice. We can just go all the way through and you notice that we got a plus two of space. Yeah. So let me see if we can be even here. Now it's possible that 40 40 40 may cause us this problem. All right? Yeah. Which I did I did expect. No. Okay. Wait. Attach box should still be the same color. 1 2 Three. No, that won't work because if I do another one then we're going to have the same problem. Uh let's see now if I this one's slightly longer than the rest. Yeah, see, they now have only two two room. Uh, that's yeah, I know. Um, so if we're gonna fit three, we can we might as well solve this with a bit of math. So we're gonna leave uh, so calculator. All right. So let's see. Um, we need a multiple of three. There's gonna be three spaces of three cells each. So that's nine. Okay. okay, and now we just need to decide how much space we want each of the bricks to have. Mm -hmm. So let's say 8 times 3, that makes 24, plus 9, 33. Um, not sure I'm a fan of that. Um, too small. So let's say 10, 10 times 3, plus 9, 39. Okay, okay. that's better. So okay. instead of 40, all of our models will be 39. Okay. 39, 39. Well, either that or we could go with multiples of four instead. So that would mean four spaces and four bricks. Okay. Uh, which I like, oops, I like the idea because let's say four times four spaces, that's 16 minus 64. So that leaves us with 48, so 12 per brick. Yeah, I think 64 is a better idea. This means we need to redesign some of your models a bit. Mm. Okay. So again, I don't know how to color pick. It's a bit annoying. This, because I, oh, this is better though. This one gives us a... Ah, oh, how a, do you make palettes? Palettes. Uh, you can basically create them, I think click here and then change the, uh, the colors or whatever. 
Let's stay here. This is pretty good. Uh, so these are various shades of dirt. Uh, our bricks are probably about this color. Uh, now, okay, let's erase everything again. I think I have the selection. Eee, remove, remove. Face is pretty useful. Mm, yep. Well, I wish we could go faster than this, but that'll do for now. I'm, I'm sure there's faster ways, it's just, it's not Blender, right? It's not a tool I'm actually used to. Fact, I mean, practically speaking, we could model this in Blender, probably be quite quick, but uh, that's not the point, right? I want you to be able to do this on your own. Yeah. Without any of my, me, without my supervision. I would so, definitely need help if I were to do this in Blender. So, okay, so we calculated it. We want four spaces and we want uh, bricks that are made out of uh, uh, 12, I believe. So... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we also have a question about the the vertical scale, right? So this, let's say that it's six, right? So it would be sixty-four divided by six. Oh, that's times divided by six divided by six. No, six is a bad number. Uh, sixty-four divided by eight. So suppose we were to can I like clear standard? Oh. Um what was it? Sixty-four divided by eight. So eight. Um now we're gonna need spaces. That's why I said six. Sixty-four divided by six. Uh right, that gives us uh it's not it's no multiple. Oh, maybe this bin bends the history. Yeah, probably. Um, four rows is too few. Um, eight is too many. <laughs> Let's just wing it. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know that I want this degree of detail though. It's quite detailed now, but we'll see. Okay, so we can select it. Plus, Control. not all walls would be brick. Control paste. What? Not all walls would be brick. Right. So we said we want four. Especially if we're making an adventure game, that we might make like a castle or something. Did I miscalculate, or did I miscount? Oh gosh. <laughs> I may have miscounted. Um, okay, so let's go to attach, hold the shift and erase this, erase this. Oh, I think I erased underneath too. And erase this. Now select, move it to the left, select, M move, move it to the left by two. Select, copy pasta. Nope, still wrong. Why do you say pasta? It's funny. Uh, I'm still wrong in the proportions. Um, whoa. I did do the math, but I did the math wrong and now I'm lazy. Paste. There. Okay. Now it's correct. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these and we're going to move them so that they're never at the edge. Now we're going to copy them, paste them, drag them down, drag them, drag them left. Like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these drag them left by a couple pixels, just like that. Okay, now, whoops, copy, paste, drag down. Paste, copy, paste. drag down. See, just like that. Um, copy, pasta. Copy, pasta. Now all of this, oh, cripes. <laughs> all right, that'll do. 
uh, copy paste. Yeah, so the top block becomes cut off. Not entirely surprising. So how much are we missing? If we were to add one of each, I wonder if it'll fit. Uh, so drag one up. And then we'll see. For now, I'm just doing some dragging here just to make sure this would actually work. I mean, we don't want it to look perfect, fair enough, but we do want it to look good. Yeah. Okay, this is looking acceptable. Uh, uh, yeah, so even if we add one, it's going to look a bit odd. But that's all right. We're going to add two here at the top, or perhaps just remove one. Um, all right. So here we can we can uh, copy paste paste paste. Technically, we can even put it. Oops, put it here. Paste. Paste. It's a bit annoying that it keeps the previous coordinate. Paste. Okay. Yeah. One more. To put at the top. Paste. Okay. Now I have no idea how we could grab all of this and rotate it, but we'll try. Looks like a brick wall. That's the idea, isn't it? Well, it looks definitely better than mine. I put quite a bit of effort in it, as you can see. Okay, so copy. Now, I wonder if I can rotate. No, that's undo, I think. Uh, can I rotate? No. Uh, there's got to be a way to rotate. Camera ruler, reset camera, toggle auto, miscellaneous, dilate shell, fract. Uh, can I mirror it on the Y, on the X? There's got to be a way to rotate. What's this? I don't know what that means. Region select, box select. The rot on the right. Chat says there's a rot on the right. I don't see any rots. Maybe this rot? That's it. Rotate, thanks. <laughs> okay, Z. Aha. Thank you, chat. Now we can do it again. Oh, no. Okay, copy paste, rotate on the Z, hold control, drag it. Okay, this one's wrong, so let's see if we can rotate it on the Y. Okay, so this guy has a small bug. No, it doesn't. Let's just do it this way. Not perfect, but it'll do. And now the last one. There we go. Okay, so that works ish. So that's for the side. Now for the top, how should our how should our walls look like? We can just merge these. Uh, here there's a bit of an interesting cut. It looks like I made a mistake. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the correct way. Yeah. Sure, we'll accept that. All right, so now let's save this in Adventure Wall for now. All right, uh, now how do we do the top? Hmm. Well, 
I guess would we copy the same? I guess we could copy the same brick pattern and put it there. I don't think it would work. Yeah. Because these go horizontally. Yeah. Right. So at the top, perhaps. Hey, Daddy, the thing is still here. Oh, hello. Ooh, this make cry for other reasons now. Yeah, see here we're missing these. We're just gonna paint these in, these in, paint them like that. Whop. Whop. And whop. <laughs> All right. Now, yeah, for the top, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how a, how a brick wall looks from the top. Looks like from the top. Hmm. Not too sure about that. Yeah, even if you do this, you could do this. Yeah, and then make it go up a bit, like a fortress wall, kind of. Well, it doesn't go further up than this. This is our maximum limit reached. Oh. So. Oh, you're already pushing it up, right? Yeah, well, when you do, when you draw like this, you're adding one, see? Yeah, I thought you were only painting. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're definitely going to get some imprecisions here. Well, I mean, I guess I could move all of this stuff one to the right, which I think would be fairly safe to do, so let's do it. Um, whoops, select. That's definitely not what you meant to do. That's definitely not what I meant to do. Hold control, drag it to the right by one. And then these need to be erased. So, wait, need to unselect. I'm a bit confused with the whole selection system. It's quite a bit more convoluted than I thought it would be. Okay, now here I can finally, finally do what? It's just as bad as before. There's a little one here that you... Stop spinning, please. No, I think I need to drag all of this stuff further to the left. <laughs> Welcome to Daddy's Perfectionism. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this totally isn't the bane of my existence. Uh, I think I may have removed too much. Yeah, I've removed, I've removed the inside as well. Uh, okay, here we go. That's good. Remove these two. Awesome. There's a bit of a crookedness over here. Crookedness. Shall we fix the crookedness? Yes. All right. By adding and erasing. Yeah. There we Done. go. Fixed the crookedness. <clears throat> Chat says, put the cat inside the castle. What cat? I don't know. He's obsessed with cats. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Try for perfection. When you fail, at least you have something good. <laughs> yes. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I kid. I quite like perfection in the end of the day. Okay, so the bottom part doesn't actually matter. Uh, we're never going to see it. Yeah. Um, but uh, this is extra geometry we don't need. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that original brown, which clearly I have not grabbed the right one. Still have not. Now I have. I'm not sure. I don't want to grab a different one because if I do... No. You grabbed a different grab one. Wrong one again. Blimey, there's gotta be a way to pick. Does anybody know? How to pick the colors. Uh, select. Okay. T tell you what, I will. I will do this instead. Ready? Whoop. Copy. Paste. Hold control and drag it. Control drag it down. There. Okay. There. Stupid, but. At least finished. 
<laughs> he's done. Okay, now here. Uh, oh dear, which one of these did I have? Uh, it's this one, I think. Yes. Okay. Now up here. I don't think this looks much like a wall. Uh, so let's say something like this. And something like this. This. And like this. It's, <laughs> it's, all, it's all wrong. So how about something like this? And then perhaps what we could do is this. <clears throat> and we can move three, move three, move three. And now I'm literally going random, which is not great. We could also leave it like this. How's this? That looks good. Okay, save. <clears throat> now. Does this save in my file upstairs as well? No, it saves in the uh, Dropbox folder unless you redirect this to your Dropbox. It's not going to save there. Mm. Okay, now let's export this uh, for um, for our friend Blender. Now the uh, we can export either obj or ply both will work so let's export ply and let's put them in the same place so dropbox zoe adventure wall ply okay now blender file open and uh, no yes no no not open my bad select all delete uh, and you go file import and here you select ply stand for mm -hmm. large storage dropbox zoe adventure wall ply import ah mr humongous okay so you can see it's extremely dense it's got a ton of stuff Okay, it's also huge tastic. Now, we want to rescale this to be a size two, maybe. Okay, it's so that's a size really two. really far from the floor. Yeah, we'll need to put it on the floor. Um, I don't think that's on. Yeah, well, I know. It's also not the right size. But we're going to help ourselves with these two leaves. Uh, Z. So if I put zero, what happens? Okay, so I put it bang on in the middle. That's okay, it's not too bad. I love it that it can't actually approximate to, to zero. It's trying. <laughs> it's trying desperately. You got it's, really close. It's funny. <clears throat> okay. How big are you? Flat. You tinied it a bit. I did, which gives me a suggestion, actually. So this was the original one, I think. No, this is the original one. You 64, aha, uh -huh. that's the deal. That's why it's that big. So if we change the dimensions, now it should be perfect and I don't even need to mess around with it or move it or anything like that. Interesting, I didn't know about that. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press space and type remove. Okay, doubles. Boom, removed 80,000 vertices. Still huge vertex count. Okay, now, number one, let's get rid of all of the bottom stuff. No need for any of that. Yeah. Okay. So now we got an empty bo brick box. Uh, right, it's still quite heavy, this fella. Um, I can't see anything. Uh, oh yeah, wireframe. 
Yeah, I still can't see anything. It's kind of annoying. Are the normals flipped? What? Are the normals flipped? They're correct. Oh. For the moment. Yeah. We're only going to be seeing the top. So I'm making one end gone here. Okay. That's because all of this is unnecessary. Okay. So here, uh, I wonder if we can select the entire edge, but I don't think so. So here we can select all of these delete vertices. Okay. So all of this is unnecessary actually, but if you want to start saving on geometry, that's how you would do it. Okay. Now we won't do this now. It's just not that important for now, but I do think we're going to have a problem because as you can see, the amount of triangles is 50,000. It's very dense. So that's going to be an issue in game. Mm, maybe we should do but it. I now. see a lot of boxes. Wait, there should be a way to condense them. How do you do that? Uh, turn them into a single edge or something? I don't know. There is another way to do this as well, but that will be quite slow. Right? So if you do this and you tell it that these are a uh, seam, right? So and then it's easier to select, but the, the thing is, this is still going to take time. This is a good time for us to experiment a few th with a few things. Wh what were you asking me? You asked some something. I don't think I did. You did earlier. Oh, no, it's fine. Well, I don't remember it now. Aha! Tragedy! Um, oh, will we do this for all the, for the, that's the idea. other ones? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, now, I don't know, though, if there is a way to uh, quickly turn this. Yeah, you could script it, uh, but that's probably much more advanced than we want to go. And we would need to use a new language called Python. Oh. Mm-hmm. No, but th there should be a way. I'm almost sure. Python uh, is a kind of snake. Why do they call it Python? Uh, don't ask me. I don't know. Let's try. The people can't see. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> uh, Blender. Uh, simplify Edge. Is there such a thing? Decimate? No, that's gonna that's gonna cause all sorts of problems. Don't use decimate. Um, dissolve. That's it. I'm almost sure you can dissolve. So let's see if you can dissolve edges. Oh, okay. Dissolve edges does that. What will dissolve faces do on this? Uh-huh. See? Turns it into one. So we can do quite a bit. The The only problem is because this is perfect voxels, it becomes really, really difficult to select them because we can't see them. But one thing that we can definitely do is change this to mm, texture. Oh, now, it show, now it shows us the verti vertex colors. Okay? So now it's going to be substantially easier for us to select this let's see what we grabbed yeah okay and now we can dissolve faces right yeah and dissolve faces and so on and so forth the spacebar key in blender is the best thing since sliced bread Right, so we can keep on doing this. Dissolve the various faces. That's not super fast, but it's not terrible either. Okay. <clears throat> you see it's working? Mm -hmm. Now, here, th this one. Uh, dissolve faces. Ooh. Sorta. Delete these words and then it breaks everything. <laughs> Okay, so that won't be the best. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, I'm just undoing to see what approach would be the best. 
Well, one way would be to delete these faces and these, but oh, man, that'll take time. That'll take so much time. No, it won't. I don't think, actually. Especially for this. So one thing we can do... Uh, no, we can't. Yes, we can. So I went to face selection. Okay, and what I'm doing now is I'm going to box select all of the faces in here. Okay, they're Whoa. there. Right? And now in wireframe, box select all of the faces here. It's going to be very fast. Well, it's going to be surely faster than the other one. Which is uh, just take, dissolve, take, dissolve. And what we're going to try now is going to delete these faces. Okay. Okay, it's been too eager in the deletion because we're now missing the... No, we're fine, actually. We're fine. Uh, but these we need to keep. Um, okay. And now... Just this. Okay, I think I know what's happened here. I must have mistakenly picked the side too. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, here as well. See? Yeah. Okay, here too. And this other side as well. Poodle Daddy. Alright, here we Why go. Why Poodle? I don't know. It's an annoying dog, one of those small ones. Goes around yapping. Not nice. Okay, now what we can do uh, that's going to help a little. Wait a moment. I may be able to do this as well. So, this one needs to be unselected. But all the ones on the inside are fine. Yeah, so these need to be unselected. We deleted something up above. Okay. I think this is going to be fine. Okay, now watch this. Here you can do L for face selection and then dissolve. Wow. That's not bad, right? L, dissolve. Uh, now, this one won't work because it needs to be split. Uh, it's a face that makes no sense if it goes all the way around. Now, that's not going to be that difficult. Um, let's think about it for a sec. In the meantime, we can definitely do these. So, L. Okay, it selected this side as well. So, we want to unselect these. Dissolve. All right, so it's dissolved the face, but not the edges. That's surprising. Um, let's see if we can get rid of that by going di dissolve. No, uh, I mean dissolve edges. No, still no difference. Okay, so that hasn't worked as well as I hoped. Why is there nothing here? What do you mean? It's empty. Well, because I've right deleted there. that stuff, that's why. Oh. Oh, blimey, what's the fastest way to do this? I can't think of, of the fastest way. Uh, let me let me try this again here for this one. Dissolve faces. Okay, this one's worked all right. Right, so uh, the reason why that hasn't worked that well is because these are supposed to be connected, I think. So they share vertices and therefore it doesn't know what to do. Okay, okay, now you help me out. You're gonna hit space and then uh, I'm gonna hit enter, okay? Space, space, space. No, that one we need to leave alone. <laughs> um, nope, too soon. No. Okay, so when it's orange. Yay! 
Automation Boy. for mon monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of slow. No, you're fine. It's just, I mean, there isn't really an enormous amount that we could do to be faster. Yeah. This, I remember doing this for other other stuff in Magicka Voxel, and you're like, oh man, really? <laughs> uh, and I, there's another way to export, which is OBJs. They are a little bit better... Uh, space, but their their triangulation Sorry. hurts your brain. It's terrible. Uh, I don't think macros would be easy to do for this, guys. Right? I mean, it's easy to say, but I have no idea how you would pick out which faces need to belong in the same group and which ones don't. I don't think it's self-evident at all. Um, okay, hit it. Now, let's try something else before we continue, because this is so ridiculously boring, I can see other problems later. Right, so let's try and export OBJ. And now, uh, in here, again, let's go file import, and this time we're going to go with OBJ. Boom, it's another huge one. Same problem, it's 64 by 64 by 64. So we've turned it to 111. Uh, let's move it to the second one. Now you'll see what the issue with this one is. Very, very much smaller, okay, in terms of geometry, but look at this chaos. And the triangles. Yeah. So as long as we keep uh, as long as we keep the material simple, um, it'll be okay. But it's pretty bad. <laughs> right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Oof, how many triangles are in that? Uh, 1,700, which is still way better than the other one. Okay, now, the one thing we could definitely get rid of is still the bottom uh, stuff here. So, let's do it. Then we gotta deal with the other stuff. A nice big hole. What do you mean we gotta deal with the other stuff? The grass and the... Yeah, well, I mean, we're just we're just gonna go with the OBJ. It's just gonna be faster, really. Yeah. Uh, now the one thing though that we're gonna have a problem with is that I don't think it's got separate materials. Hmm. Interesting. It does have a material though called palette. I'm curious. It's new. Okay, so let's let's save this Blender file. and We're gonna save it in the same place. So. No, actually, let's put it in our in our game project. You mm. made a lot of games. I have done a lot of stuff, but apparently, ah, so we projects adventure adventure assets models, and we're gonna call this one wow. environment. Okay, mate, did you not? I don't think pressing enter saves. Uh, Blender and its magical quirks. You gotta get used to all of the quirks. Apparently pressing enter goes in some folder or something. Um, probably because my mouse was somewhere else. But let's see how this looks like in, in game. Well, in engine. So models, drag the environment in. All right. So theoretically, there's supposed to be a palette adventure wall PNG, and there it is, and it doesn't do anything. It's what I expected. Doesn't do anything, right? Now so, I'll have a white wall. Yeah, so that won't work for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this particular uh, uh, guy, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, try and choose the bricks. Now, I don't know that we can... Oh gosh, wait a moment. This indicates to me that we have doubles. Okay. What? Yeah, it's smooth. That's the problem. Change it to sharp. It'll be okay. Uh, smooth shading. I'm, I'm surprised smooth sharp flat that's what we want okay no, no sharp there you go so we have 
the vertices now should work correctly. Yes, that's better. <laughs> what we had before was a bit broken. So still, we're going to have to pick all of these things, and it's not going to be nice. Uh, the triangles? What? Because of the triangles? Yes. Uh, I wonder if you could untriangulate, but I'd be very surprised if you could. Once you triangulate, you're done. There's no option. So what would be the fastest possible way? I think this could work. So I'm going to select all of these. And I'm selecting the vertices. Okay, so not the faces anymore, but the vertices. I'm selecting all of these inside vertices and I want to see if they are what I think they are. Uh, they are not. Well, still, no biggie. It's not too bad. Now let's go to edge selection and we're going to unselect these edges. And you'll see why. Okay. I'm trying to isolate these little boxes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm removing these guys. Some of them may be wrong. I don't know. The diagonal ones can be removed safely because that indicates there's a face there. We do not want the face. Okay, it doesn't matter how you do it, you still end up spending a substantial amount of time massaging this to make it into a reasonable um, geometry. I remember this problem from other projects. Now many people would just import this, but I know we can't. And you know why? Because we have a huge map. And we're going to have a large map, there's going to be loads of these being instantiated, it will be a problem if we don't deal with this now. It will be a big problem, your game is going to chug really badly. Yeah. Okay, so let's see the situation here. Okay, so this one and this one are unnecessary. Oh gosh, this is uncomfortable. But, it's all you want though, it's not terrible. We can live with this, I think. We can live with this. Now let's select these edges. And then let's unselect the ones in the middle. Middle. The, the deal is we're trying to create seams that we can then use to assign materials much faster. Wait a moment. Oh, there was another option. Now that I think about it. Huh. Okay, so this would work, but it will take st still take ages. Let's try this. Okay. Now let's display texture. Uh, that will help. Let's display material. Okay, now new material. We're gonna call this one. It doesn't matter really. Uh, wall. Uh, just A. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then another one which we're gonna call B. It's really irrelevant. Uh, so the only thing we want to do is change the diffuse so it's green and B is whatever. Red. <clears throat> Okay, now all of this inside we can assign the red material. Oh. I'm surprised that the, about the green being correctly assigned. Oh, it's from before, I think. Yeah, fair enough. And you see, this has worked fairly well, fairly quickly. Christmas wall. Christmas wall. Ho ho. Okay. Can I. Yeah, this is all triangulated, so the only option is to calmly select the stuff. I mean, there's a faster way, but for this particular bit, it should be okay. Right, so 
yeah, I can't use any group selection tool because of the fact that it's all triangulated. Which is how then games actually render things, you know? Oh. Yeah, it's all triangles. And we should be done. There. Okay. Finally. Was finished. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Now let's go here and now you'll see that this guy expects two materials and it already has them. Now we're gonna give him different materials, but this is good enough for now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um so uh, we're gonna tell it uh, model do not import ah we may have animations. Well, for now we don't, and not in the environment, so do not import materials, and we have no rig. Apply. Now let's take a look at other properties as well. Uh, smoothing angle. This should make it... No, because the, the stuff remains flat, so let's leave the smoothing angle to this or whatever, it doesn't matter. We're going to keep it pretty solid. All right, done? Yeah. Now, um, we're mm -hmm. gonna create our little, we have a prefab of the wall, remember? Mm -hmm. So let's open the prefab, okay, model. We're gonna change the model to, we forgot to give it a name, adventure wall. So let's re rename it wall, it's probably sufficient, right? Yeah. Wall, okay, save. Now it's going to think for a bit, and then it's going to be happy. Okay. How long did this take us? Wow, 50 minutes. Well, okay, there it is. Now you see it's only rendering one part. Yeah. That's because it needs two materials on the mesh renderer. So you go to size, change it to two, and now there's two of the same, right? Now the wall material, we're going to duplicate it. We're going to call this one bricks. Okay, so in model, we're going to put bricks here, and this may be the wrong place, I don't know. Let's edit bricks to make it lighter. Yeah, I've got it wrong. Right, so we're going to put bricks over here. I'm also pretty sure that... Wall over there. Yeah, the light, the bricks were lighter. Yeah, so let's do some color like this. Um, it was really dark in Magic Voxel. Oops, I'm right in the com in the microphone. That's okay. Uh, okay, there we go. There's our wall. Ah, wait, this is too shiny. Walls are generally very opaque, so there's no reason to have that. Okay, so now we can delete this environment thing, hit play, and you will see... The walls. Or you won't. So... Oh boy. Hello! How's it going? <laughs> they are massive! <laughs> and they're in the wrong place. No, I think they're in the right place, but they're huge tastic. Oh. So that's the problem. So let's go prefab, map, wall, open prefab. Uh, no, wait, it must be something with the import size. Let's try this. I'm not sure. There. Ish. <laughs> They're on top of the other walls. They're not on top. It's emptiness. Oh. Right. So they are um, quite small now. Uh, it's like I got the, the scale wrong. But I don't know what the scale is supposed to be. No, that's too much. Oh, dang. This is annoying. This is bad. Um, uh, scale. So theoretically, I've applied the scale. Uh, I want to also apply rotation. Okay. So this may change things a bit. Let's close the prefab. Okay. Now they are minuscule. Yeah. That's my. That was my bet. So the scale was still huge. Uh, apply. Let's see. Oh. All right. 
now they're rotated. No, they are correct, but they are in the wrong place. They were rotated wrong. Roar, roar, roar. Ah, right, you're correct. They are rotated incorrectly. And the reason why this is, is because uh, Blender loves uh, to do rotations differently. So we need to open the prefab. The model is here. One of the things I made in Magic Voxel is backwards. And we need to rotate it on the x uh, x axis, I think, by 270. Okay, now let's test it again. Boom. Wait a moment, there's yet another problem. They are now elevated from ground. That's because the original bo blocks had, uh, had a displacement. Uh, well, they, they, they have the center in the center. Mm. Ours don't have the center in the center. Mm. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, that's fine. And now everything should finally work. And then... Ta-da! There's the little fella walking among the walls. All right, grass time. So we wanted to do level design, but I don't think we'll have the time. I made blades of grass for the grass. You made blades of grass. Let's see how hard mm -hmm. that's going to be to deal with. Sorry. That's okay. You're fine. Plus, remember that well, we need to do a severe modifications because of the scales. I never knew it was going to be that hard. That's okay. Uh, so. Neither did I. <laughs> Open uh, grass. See? That's fine. That's going to be easy. So, um, there's a bunch of stuff that we don't need. For example, the ground, the we don't need at all. I thought we could use it if there would be something something underground. No, we would well, work sure, it down, but so... It, no, but, I mean, if we ever make a cave of some sort or something, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with it there and there. Oh, that's huge. That's easy to do, though. Uh, now, this is extremely highly detailed, though, for, for this scale. But it's okay, we can't really change, we need to keep everything the same. Alright, so this is going to be fairly easy. It looks hard, but it's not going to be hard at all. So let's go to select, and let's pick all of the top greens, okay? And move them here and here. Oops. It's fine. Now we'll paste them here. Pasta them. Pasta them. <laughs> Always pasta. Okay. Book. So that's easy enough. Now we have a lot of blades and no grass under them. Uh, yeah. So let's grab a face, uh, attach, remove, remove. Dang. So. Okay. So now with this face, we can, um, unfortunately, we can't copy, turns out. Ah, put it. Actually, that, that will work. That would that would work quite well. That will work quite it's well. On the scene. Yeah, I know. But here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um. I don't know that Magic of Voxel has a way to uh, look straight from the side or anything like that. So. Right under. Poop. There we go. Done. Okay, and now export as OBJ. And now there's going to be a million triangles. Uh, it's going to be bad this one, yeah. I don't think there's a huge amount we could do about it. Worse than the wall? Uh, uh, I think so. Yeah, but there's a thing, we have a trick we're going to use for the grass. You'll see. Do you know oh, any oh. other way to make it more detailed? What do you mean? Well, I thought that, like, with the holes that you showed me how to do, that would not look much like grass. So. Okay, sounds good. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't uh, matter. Okay, so OBJ, uh, Adventure Grass, there it is. Ah! In right. our face. All right. So this guy has a scale of one, one, one. Hmm. Now it's a square. Yeah, it's also really tall. Um. So one was incorrect. This is one divided by sixty-four. 
now it's correct and we need to uh, hit control a to apply location rotation scale okay and now what you'll see is that we've got all of these squares we don't need and we don't need the bottom also right so we're gonna go with uh, vertex selection and we're gonna delete these vertices so we only have at the bottom then I'm gonna delete these vertices. Actually, hmm, wait, I've got a better idea. There, I'm gonna delete all of these vertices. Boom. So this leaves us only with the top and the bottom with the wrong, uh, the wrong um, normals. So we're gonna invert. Recalculate. Flip direction. That's it. Okay. Now they're all staring up. Um, and now what we can do is we can assign um, to all of these, we can assign the uh, A material. A? Wait a second, what are you pressing? So the A material. Yeah, I said the A material doesn't mean press the A key randomly for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Um, the unable, oh, okay, you can't. Now you can't. Okay, and select A, select select B all right now let's observe material okay so it's all green at the moment let's color these red so the blades are gonna be red it doesn't doesn't matter this is just here right so I'm gonna save this uh, I forgot to call this one grass and this one grass save okay now back to unity uh, ground. Let's name ground to grass. Uh, let's leave it alone because I think we're gonna have problems otherwise. So model um, grass. Okay. Now the rotation on the x is two seventy. The position on the y is zero. Okay. Now we only have one material currently, so we need two. One for grass. One for ground. Right. Uh, so materials, uh, grass, and then grass blades, right? And the grass mm -hmm. blades will be brighter, or vi no, vice darker. versa, vice versa. Yeah. So the grass blades are, and the grass is brighter, like that. Okay. The grass is perfect green, and the other one was a little darker. And vice versa. There you go. There they are. Let's see how this looks like in game. <laughs> it's very dense, so that's why it's looking like carpet. But it's not too bad, I would say. What do you think? It's pretty good. Because it's so dense, it actually doesn't really render it very well. Can see the tiny little squares. Not bad for my eyes. I already have to wear glasses. Yeah, that's. You can a... see it right there. <laughs> yeah, that's funny actually. Uh, on the stream, it's approximating much better. Um, yeah, so I think this is a little bit too much. Um, let's see if we can cheese a little bit. Cheese. So if I remove this. And remove this. Then I say this, and I say scale by four. Uh, no, scale by two. And geometry to origin. So I've effectively made it a 32 by 32 by 32. There. Okay. That looks more like grass. And it helps with the shadows. Because <laughs> the shadows are a bit broken, and now they're broken by default, but I think it's fine. <laughs> yes, okay, that's not too bad. All right, so let's take a look at your uh, last model. Spawn point. A spawn point. Okay, so... Uh, Scratch point. Let's change this to 32. There you go, fixed, 32, 
and 32. There you go. Save. Um, and then open spawn point. Ooh, fancy. That's pretty cool. I told cool. you it looked different from the grass. Yeah, the only thing that it doesn't have at all is any uh, depth, which I think we could add a bit. Right? So. Uh, That's why the ground is there. No, I understand, but you're not taking any advantage of the um, of the three D, right? So, so it looks like a flat surface. Good point. Uh, so, well, we first of all we need to change the the scale. Definitely cannot keep it at sixty. Excuse me, at forty by forty. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, let me think this through. We could make it slightly more circular. Um, yeah, and also we should decide what type of ground it stands on, or or maybe not. Maybe we're simply going to actually put a ground tile underneath, so it's appropriate for that place or something. We'll, we'll see. Maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, so you can choose. Check this out. You got a circle tool. I okay. used it for these. Oh. I used. You it. used it to make squares. <laughs> well. <laughs> It was a, it was easy, so I did it. <laughs> okay, so apparently it starts from the center, which is terrible because we don't have a center. Circle, square, circle, O, E, o, what does that mean? O, oh, L, oh. E, O, E. I'm very confused. Um, circle, square, okay. Okay, so it starts from the circle. So the issue that we're going to have here is that our, no, forget it, it's apparently fine. Okay. A big wheel fell on the thing. Yeah, well, I'm going to, I'm going to kill this now, but I'm going to use the same colors. Yeah, let's just, there. Uh, so circle, let's create that circle. It's refusing to go through Love the right. It. <laughs> okay, so there's the circle. Now, you'll see what I mean by 3D-ness. Uh, so let's create another circle. That's in the wrong place. It's okay. Oh, bummer. Um, okay. You're right, I can't really do it. Um, at least I don't know how. Let's try here. No! Oh, gosh! I love this tool. I'm not used to it. <laughs> so if I do this, I won't be able to drag it. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to select a different color. Okay. Like no, there. I'll be... No, still not able to drag it. Okay. How about this? <laughs> This is so... I love it. It's great. It's really... Uh, a, no! <laughs> it's really... A pain. It's really locking it. It's a pain in the nets. In the side. Okay, so there's got to be a way to select these. There really does have to be a way. Uh, now... Oh, loving it. Um... <laughs> What's L V Rect. That's it. Rect. T there we go. Oh my <laughs> word. Sorry about the bouncing. Took me ages. Alright, so we've got the, the rect selected. Uh, now let's go back to paint and make sure we paint it all. Uh. <laughs> the wrong way. Okay, done. Jeez. Uh, Alright, now attach there. Alright. Now we've got another circle done. So what we what we what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep on going up a bit. All right. So another circle, and then we're gonna start doing the. Uh, we're gonna start doing the blue circles. Okay, we're already correct. It looks like. Fine. All right. Now let's grab that cyan that you had. Uh, we're gonna pick a cyan. See this one. That one was the one I had. Okay. 
and this one was a gray, wasn't it? Yes. So this is the sign you had, and we're going to create another circle. And we will be back uh, either on, what, Tuesday or perhaps uh, Friday. Friday. We're not sure. Well, Friday for sure. Tuesday, we're not sure. We may double it up. We'll see. Till next time, YouTube audience. Bye-bye. See ya. Wrecked. Okay. Hold, control, go up. That should be correct. Correct. <laughs> And can I move this down? Yes, I can. Okay, so I've inserted it into this. Can I move it further down? Not like that. I can, but it's cre it's disappeared inside. So we're just going to hold control and move it. <laughs> hold control and move it down. Okay, hold control and move it up. <laughs> I finally managed. Yeah. All right. Um, now paint. <sighs> paint. Yes. All right. So there's the little circle. Now you had made all sorts of interesting little patterns, right? But first, what we're going to do is we're going to create some kind of border around it. Okay. To do that, we're going to go back to our gray, back to our circle, back to attach. And now we're going to attach it on top, so it's going to look like it covers it, which is not very nice, but that's okay. Okay, that, that should be correct. Okay, like that. And now we're going to erase, so hold shift. No, I'm, I'm already good. Hold shift. See, just like that. So now the reason why this won't work is because I need to attach first. And now erase. Um... need to hit it bang on in the middle okay that's pretty good okay so now it looks like the circle is on the inside we don't need to keep the patterns there it's fancy enough already I don't know I quite liked your patterns maybe we can put wait it a down moment the this edges. one I need to do exactly right okay something like this hmm maybe a bit smaller No, still too much. There, something like that. Okay, and now we can do some fancy inscriptions in here, right? So to do that, we're just going to go to box, and now we're going to start sort of cutting like that. Looks like a number one. There, obviously that's that's. <laughs> a duck. <laughs> <laughs> or a horse, something like that. A horse. A horse. <laughs> or some ancient hieroglyph. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Right? I'm doing ancient hieroglyphs. 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 <laughs> the glyphs of the hero. Ooh. Like in Zelda, they, they have a different language on the signs. Yeah, so that's what we're doing now. A running dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> running dinosaur. <laughs> this... Should tell the fit. You, you have no respect for your for the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> the hammer or or the bone of a cue bone Pokemon. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what the inscriptions look like? <laughs> Rubbish. Okay. All right. So. I mean. Something like this, you know. Oh, assigning materials for this will be a joy. A chair. <laughs> what? How? How do you see a chair? <laughs> a then? sort of chair. A stair that's uneven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You should have been doing this, you potato. Learn, learn from me now, so you can do it next time. So I don't have to do it. So you need to put effort in this. Yours were too simple. How long did it take you to do them? Um, the wall took me like 30 minutes. Mm. The This one also took me 30 minutes. The grass was pretty easy. Except I had to do it over. I had to do so many of the blades. That took me a while. Uh, well, you saw that you can copy and paste them, right? Yeah. 
you use this to select them, this tool over here, and then Control C, Control V, and then Control you hold and you shift them around. Yeah, so I, oops. So I think that's pretty good like this, and then let's add some stuff in here in the middle. <clears throat> I'm making runes out of voxels, voxel runes. <laughs> That are none in an order. Man, look, there's a cat there. A cat. <laughs> Actually, looks like a corgi. Looks like a mouse. Rubbish. <laughs> corgi. Uh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? That um. <laughs> My daughter is <laughs> Something. Oh, it's a something, all right. <laughs> no, not bad, not bad. I'm trying to figure out what it is. An awkward butterfly. An awkward <laughs> butterfly. No, it's, uh, I can see that, yeah, it's, it's, uh, in the perspective. Wings and the body. Yeah, because you point to the screen, people on stream totally can see it. <laughs> Actually, let's leave that there. A duck face. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> He put an eye. <laughs> he put an eye right there. <laughs> Doesn't look so much like a duck anymore. Oh, that's because I gave it a me mega chin. <laughs> yeah, kind of looks like an Andrew now. <laughs> okay, there. That's pretty good. That's not too bad, right? And we could. I mean, you can improve this to no end. Like you could add these little symbols, just like that. And then hate yourself when you're exporting the material because <laughs> it's going to take ages. Right? But, you know, the more details you put, the better something looks, usually. Depends. I mean, you can exaggerate it and then it's just bad. But can I? So, wait a moment. A mirror on the Z mirror on the Y. If I click here. Oh, isn't that nice? There. Right? So... <clears throat> Hey, it kind of looks like a shield if you spin it around. Well, I mean, we could turn this into th this into the logo for the game or something like that. So it, we would have a shield and we could use exactly this art for it. Well, I mean, it's kind of big, but... Like you know. the Zelda shield has a lot of art on it. Yeah. <clears throat> and another thing that we could do is put another small set of circles right here. Little, little donut circles just mm -hmm. like that and then another one right on top there right mm -hmm. Ta-da! that's not too bad so spawn point I saved it uh, export as obj spawn point obj uh, go to yet another layer. Hit Shift C, file, import. Oh boy, this is a long episode. Um, Wavefront OBJ, Adventure Spawn Point OBJ. Ah, huge! Right? Yeah. Now, remember how we deal with the proportions of this guy? So, this one says 62. That's incorrect. That's divided by 64 okay then you do this divided, divided by, 64, by 64 and this divided, divided by 64, 64. And all now right it's tiny. so now we have this guy over here and Ooh, what we're gonna do enough. is we're going to control a to apply scale rotation and location okay and now we can finally get to work on the materials um so we need to only worry about the uh, sign. The rest is fine. So let's first of all remove this material. Let's add two. And this one we're gonna say A. All right. So there goes nothing. Now, let me see if I can change to texture. Okay, finally. So it shows me this. Now I wish I could choose by texture, but I don't think I can. All right, so 
Uh, let's go by edge selection. I think it's going to be the fastest. The fact that the, when, when you uh, show it rendered with textures, it looks like this means nothing for when it comes to uh, the, what material is applied. I used sign because we had started with it. That's okay. We can now we can apply it. It's just going to be a material. You can change it to any color you like. Mm. Right. So if you want, in fact, I think we're gonna uh, when we're going to uh, build these spawn points and make them respawn you. Right. There's going to be some kind of effect that's probably going to change the color of the material of the cyan to something slightly different when you spawn. I don't know. Right. But we'll decide when we do it. Mm. Effects are important. You want to make your little game look coolio. Okay, so Why are some of them green? They're not green, they're yellow, but because yellow, when, when yellow sums together with... Blue, it's green. With, oh, I must have pressed some crazy button. Yes, that thing. So it's not green at all. Uh, uh. <laughs> I put some effort in that. Uh, uh. That's right. Barbarian edge selection. <laughs> uh. Ooh, careful. I nearly selected too much. 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 <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, so I think that's already good. Now let's switch to vertex. Okay, we missed a few. Let's switch to face selection. Oh no, maybe it is selected. No, I don't think so. Oh, crapsticles. I forgot. Remove doubles. Did we do it in the grass? I don't think so. Wow. We've severely improved this. Wait a moment. Where is the... Where did our <laughs> floor go? <laughs> Where did our floor go? We lost the floor. We also have some interesting. We have some broken, ver uh, broken stuff here that shouldn't really be here. Oh, blimey! So much three D fixing. I think I know what happened. I deleted it before. By mistake. Okay. Delete. Wow. Okay, I must have extruded first by mistake. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, now, if we're going to um, to create the grass underneath, oh, there is a vertex here. Okay, so let's just extrude on the X. Ex now select them both. And extrude on the Y. There. That's nice. Alright, so that's, that's Fixio. Now back to here. Hello. Hello. Oh, you smoothed it. It's smooth, yeah. Um, that looks flat. like a dinner plate. So does your face. <laughs> flat. Okay. Um, now, back to that fantastic selection that I was doing before. Uh, <laughs> render texture. Gosh. Okay, so I thought... But I thought wrong. Um, can I do face selection here? 
Oh, and also I forgot to remove the bottom, so let's do that part first. It's a lot of forgetting. For oh well, what can you do? You forgot some stuff at the bottom. Yeah, some edges are being missed. Yeah, I better not delete it yet. As you can see them here. So these are kept. Uh, otherwise, this triangulation thing is a proper pain. That's why PLY uh, export is cool, but PLY export has the opposite problem that it's a ridiculous amount of boxes. Then, right? It, Magic of Oxel is a bit silly, basically. At least to my knowledge. Maybe, maybe there is a way to do this well, and somebody in the comments will tell us. We'll see. I, I, I simply don't know it. If there is a way. Nearly nine. Yeah, I'm working on it, dear. Yeah, just saying, it's very late. Still working on it. I know. <laughs> okay, finally, all of this done. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's just quickly save here. Um, so, even if I select all of these, I will still miss some of the faces like these. So, what if I do face selection? Uh, I would need to change back to solid, yeah, in order to see the the centers, and I can't do that. So we're just gonna go with this. Hmm. How do you like these apples? Not uh, very uh, much. What apples? It's just a saying. Okay. Now let's see if we change back to um, solid. There. We can see some red. Right? The but duck. That's right. Back to texture. So I've done... No, that's the slanted butterfly. You don't even know how you name <laughs> your own things. Oops. And here's the axe. Oh, and if I recall correctly, we don't actually need to be super precise in the selection. Like, even if I go out a little bit, it shouldn't actually select the other faces unless you pick the, the core. Um, so assign... Okay, so we got the slanted butterfly and this assigned, the left part. This one looks like a bathtub. Totally. <laughs> sort of. Sort of not. <laughs> this one looks like a top. The one top? above the bathtub looks like a top. What the one mean? that spins. What? <laughs> the the top that spins. What do you mean the top that spins? Like the top that you spin. <laughs> no, that's not a very good explanation. No. <laughs> My goodness, children's <laughs> sense of humor is painful. Um, a sign. Okay. A sign. Uh, da, da, da. No! This is so fun. For real? No. No. Sign, I think I've done that twice. Um, let's go back to solid. All right. Back to texture. Done with uh, the dinosaur. Working on it. Looks a bit like a velociraptor, maybe. Or a roadrunner. No, that's not a dinosaur, but anyway. When I was a kid, I had a game for my Sega Game Gear with Roadrunner, and it was a fantastic game. Well, at least I loved it. It was quite hard, if I remember correctly. Okay, I've done the internal patterns. Finished. No, not done. For now. There's all of the all of the ring here. Okay. 
Wait, I think I'd probably... Mm -hmm. Excuse me, what are you picking? Eh? This one. The barbarian thing. <laughs> okay. There. 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 And there. Now the only reason why I'm not having Zoe do this herself is because it would just take a very long time. I I would I would imagine. Um. I don't think she's used to Blender. But anyway, this should give you a good uh, idea, Zoe, what you need, what you what are you expected to do next time, right? For your models. At least your your mod Magic of Oxel models need to be detailed and interesting. Okay. Right? Not a flat uh, boring thing. Because uh, otherwise why uh, like how would that wall look distinct from anything else? You notice how much cooler now this looks right and it's I mean we didn't spend an enormous amount of time on it you know you can do a good job and we've talked about this before but your game is only gonna be as good as you want to make it okay okay so make sure you put some effort put your back into it next time round a little bit more okay so we get something better we get really cool art Said something batter. Something batter. Don't batter things. That's what your brother does. He breaks everything. Like batter, I meant the cake batter. Oh. Okay. I'm singing the party hard songs. Oh. While singing whistling. That's a game that you're not ready for, do you? What? All right, all right. A sign. Are we done? Ooh, some weird stuff. We are almost done. As you can see, I've missed this. Fa oh gosh, this face and this face. Okay, there we go. Uh, spawn point. Okay. Uh, now this one won't look great because it's gonna be missing the grass. There will be no grass. Uh, also, I have a suspicion, meaning I yeah, the grass. Let's see where it is. So it's on top like this. So it'll cover it almost completely. Right? There'll be an issue, but I think that's a problem with the grass, frankly. That's better. It's colorful. Colorful is irrelevant. Okay, here we go. Uh, prefabs map spawn point open prefab. Uh, so this one, yeah. So we're we're gonna we're gonna need a two seventy over here. We're gonna need a spawn point, and we're gonna need two materials and the. Oh, crap. The first material spawn point, and let's call this one uh, granite or something because it's quite dark. Well, we'll make it dark anyway. So, granite should be the second one uh, or the first one. I'm not sure. Yeah, obviously got it wrong. <laughs> um, granite. He got all of them wrong. Yep. Okay, and let's see if we can reduce the smoothness. There we go. Nice and dark. Spawn point would be cool to give it a mission, but it's something we'll worry about later uh, if we have post-processing effects. For now, this will do. <coughs> okay. That was loud. So... Okay. 
Okay, I can't see, but there it is. Now you can see one thing is missing from underneath it, the ground, the grass. Yeah. Right? Now that's because we need to add it next time. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be adding the grass in future. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.